I believe that your goal, without condescension and without manipulation, is to tell the truth as you see it. And I align myself when the truth as I see it overlaps with an atheist movement or a skeptic movement or a libertarian movement or Cato. Uh, I'm very happy to get on board there. But I don't spend any time thinking about what we're trying to accomplish. And I believe that's really important because if I think, how do I convince this person? I'm sitting across from someone that I've met and in my mind, if I'm thinking, how do I get that person to become a libertarian? I believe at that moment I am a pig. I am a bad person. I am doing the wrong thing. I should be thinking, what do I believe? What's in my heart? I try to say that. Then that person says that back. Because it's possible they're right. And if I'm trying to convince them, I have not given any possibility of them being right. When you say to the person condescendingly, well, how do you think UFOs could have gotten here? That's not a real question. You're trying to manipulate them. And it's possible that the person sitting across from me has information on Roswell that'll change my whole point of view. It's very unlikely. I don't really entertain it. But in theory, I want to be open to that. So my brand of uh, libertarianism, if you will, is I love having people preach to me. I don't want to ever become the person that's trying to change their mind. And the difference is so subtle, as I think outside of me to be non-existent. The difference between telling the truth as you see it from your heart with passion and trying to win people over is, I guess the technical term would be an end, RCH, just the slightest possible difference. But to me, it's very important, and I try to stick with that. So I, uh, I don't really have, I'm a member of the Cato Institute. I subscribe to Reason. I'm a, I think I'm, I have to check, but I think I'm a card-carrying member of the Libertarian Party. I never know what I filled out and what exactly I've done. But I voted Libertarian uh, for many years now, you know, 25 years or whatever, and I, and I, I miss Harry Brown every second. He was wonderful. Um, but uh, so the flavors of libertarianism I go with is just, uh, I think I go with maximum freedom. I often say that I'm probably leaning closer to anarcho-capitalist. Uh, I would love to see, uh, I mean, in every situation, and I've said this a zillion times to Larry King, in, in every problem you come up with, I would like to have one of the first questions to be, is it possible we can solve this with more freedom instead of less? Is that possible? And sometimes the answer is going to be no. You know, if, if someone is committing a rape, you know, if someone is killing someone and you're a police person and you have a gun and they are holding a gun to someone's head like this and they're going to pull the trigger, you might not be able to solve that problem with more freedom to that person. You know, uh, if, if a country is attacking ours and actually changing our way of life, you may not be able to solve that with more freedom to the other side. But uh, team use of tobacco, <laughs> uh, television shows we don't like, um, libraries, at least consider the possibility of going with more freedom. That having been said, uh, I'm not for burning down the situation that we have. I'm not for uh, hose it down, as a friend of mine says on everything. Just hose it down, start again. Uh, it's not the style person I am. I believe that you just keep saying the truth as you see it as often as you can. You change your mind every time you see yourself as being wrong. And you hope that that truth will win out in the end. And I think it does. I think that the major quality you need to be an atheist and the major quality you need to be a libertarian is optimism and trust and love of people.